we traded that diesel that I had. Cooper, quiet. Four, one, two, and a third. That's a cool one. That's a four seater, 2007 with the gas engine, so 620 cc engine. Not the greatest horsepower for this, but it should be fine for what I need. And then I ended up with, I think these are both like 90s, late 90s, mules, 2510s. I have the doors in the back of my truck for that one, and I have a door for that one. I'm curious as if I can make something work with undoing these hinges and putting the hinges there because they both look like they have the same door frame type, except that one's a vertical or straight piece. That's a, a bent, but whatever. Or I can just swap the cab over because this one, I don't know if you can tell, is a little rusty. But they both are in pretty solid condition. I mean, while this one does have rust on the frame, it's not all the way through the tube. It is just from like the normal rust. And the rest of the chassis looks pretty solid. I don't know what is going on with these. I don't even know what year it is. I just know that there's a name tag right there. And likewise on the other one. So we're gonna have to get these unloaded and then I think for right now we're gonna tackle it one at a time. First priority is the four seater because I, that's the newest and the most valuable and it's the one I wanna have running quickest. Then I would like to get this one going a little bit better and then maybe even fix that one up. I don't think it's gonna need much. Tires even kind of hold there so I really think it's the, a good possibility that I can get all three going which will be cool. Cause I think my dad wants one. So, and that one looks like it has frank, brand new front tires. That one is, those are pretty decent tires. So yeah, uh, we'll, I'll bring you back when we get this thing, these offloaded. And I think we're gonna leave this one right here on the trailer for a bit, just so I can have parts. Cause if, if that one, if that one needs parts, then I'm gonna take parts for it. I know I need to probably take, either take the front differential because it's a four-wheel drive model, as you can see from the dump bed. And on the dash, there's the differential lock and the four... Oh no! Huh! Just noticed that. It actually is a two-wheel drive model. That's it. So that bed isn't right. So maybe we take that bed, put it onto, there, onto this one. Take parts, put it onto this one clean this one up because I do have glass all glass except for this corner piece for it yeah well we'll figure it out I've been rambling along on this intro so hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, series coming up pretty sure I'm going to try to get four videos out of it maybe one per and then one follow up um, but for right now I'm going to unload it and or set the camera down and unload these and maybe get to tinkering well, it's a brisk 35 degrees outside and we're gonna go ahead and power wash these units off just because they are in dire need of it. Um, for right now, they need to be cleaned off, so that's what we're gonna do. So, hopefully you guys enjoy the satisfying power wash transition. I'm gonna try to do one side at a time and then take you with it so that way you can see it because these things are nasty. Uh, and it, it will be fun kind of to watch it, so. Enjoy!
Pray for me. This is sketchy. Okay. I do not know if I have spark because I'm just literally just checking. It feels like I don't have spark, and it also feels like I don't have a lot of compression. Hmm. Let's do a little spark check real quick. The key, the reason I'm doing it with that, the way it's set up right now, is the, uh, how would you say it, the ignition key is not functioning correctly on this, this UTV. It's turning, it's trying to do something, but it just doesn't work. So, there's a, I found a split in the wire right here like a mouse was chewing on it. So it makes me feel like a mouse has been in here. Okay. So because that's a ground right there, when I do spark. That is awesome. I will say, if you guys plan to do something like this, make sure you know what you're doing. I literally am throwing a spark, what is that, a foot away from where I sprayed gasoline. So it is not safe, it is dangerous, but I am confident in my skills and ability to be able to not catch myself on fire. So yeah, don't do what I do, basically, unless you really know what you're doing. And then at that point, I don't care. You can be yourself, especially because I am not watching you guys. All right, let's. Let's give her some choke. Yeah, see, there's like water or gas pooling in that carb. And the vapors, if the vapors get to the spark, it's not scary. I think it wanted to, so we're going to give it again. We're going to take a flashlight this time and make sure that that... Okay, choke is open at the moment. I thought it was closed. Okay. Don't pull up on me. Please don't. Okay. That settles it. We're going to do a time lapse and get <coughs> something made its nest in there. Oh, that makes me make me sneeze. That tells us we're going to make, uh, yank this motor out, throw it in the four seater, and get this thing rolling down the road because I want to use that four seater and I want to have it my garage back essentially. And I can put two of these in, in here and fit my truck still. But I can't with only 
Uh, all three of them in here. Oh, jeez. That's no fun. That dust. And I just ripped my pants. Lovely. All right. Let me get this time lapse set back up and your battery's flashing at me. Yeah, that's a shame. That's a bummer. Water pump looks the same though. Heads look the same, coolant passages look the same. Everything looks the same. Except the wiring harnesses are a little different. But that's something I can fix. I, I can pull the flywheel off, pull everything off, and then call it good. Because I mean, it's got the same sensors. You can see. It looks like they bought, they put that in. So yeah, I mean, I think that's threaded on. Oh, sorry. I realize I'm holding the camera at the same time. Well, for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off, or take all these things apart kind of just set them up on the workbench next to each other and see the differences. I'm going to replace the wiring down here, down here, there we go. Replace the wiring just because I know that needs to get changed over to the other one, but everything should fit. In a worst case scenario, I just swap over. Um, I buy a new crank and I take this case off, but I really wouldn't don't want to because this engine seemed pretty good. So we're gonna probably take off, take some things apart, swap it out, and then swap it back into the four seater. Take this thing and throw it out back and let it sit because I don't care about it that much. I'm gonna probably put the doors on it this time though so it stays somewhat cleaner because it was pretty bad with in the snow that I picked it up in. So with that being said, I am going to take a pause, get help my wife with some stuff, and then come back and we'll take a peek at some other stuff. Um, I did get this one running really good, but I think it has a blown differential or something just isn't adjusted right. I don't know, I haven't messed with it. Um, I kind of plan on uh, putting up on jack stands and running it through the gears and seeing if it has any bit of spin. Um, I don't know, maybe the secondary clutch is just not working. I, I think it would, but...